Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. There's only 10 days left of 2021, which is absolutely insane. So I figured there was no better video to make than a 2022 New Year's resolutions video. And in this video, I've compiled my top 10 realistic New Year's resolution ideas, and I hope that you guys find some of these useful. So without further ado, let's get started. But before you get into this video, make sure that you subscribe and follow me on all my social media platforms, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So coming in at number one, we have committing to social media. I'm going to upload once a week on my YouTube channel and upload more frequently on my Instagram and TikTok accounts, which they're all right here if you're interested in following, which you totally should because I have so many fun trips and adventures coming up next year. So I'm definitely going to document all of that and try and launch my social media career, which <laughs> we'll see if it works. So coming in at number two, we have give somebody a compliment every single day. I know that when I receive compliments, it always makes my day and I always feel a million times better and I feel obligated to continue the line of kindness and give somebody else a compliment. So I want to be the one to give out all these compliments next year and make people feel really good about themselves. So I vow to give out one compliment every single day. My recent obsession has been the library. I absolutely love going to the library. So next year I want to be more present and one way I will do that is by reading one book every two weeks. I feel like this is very doable for me and I always say that I don't have enough time to read which is completely not true because I'm scrolling through TikTok and Instagram for like hours every day so instead of um you know, scrolling through pointless TikTok videos, I want to take some of that time and dedicate it towards reading. Next up, we have dedicating one day every week towards recharging. And by this, I mean kind of re-energizing and getting ready for the next week that comes. So I think I'm going to dedicate Sunday towards my recharge day. And on Sundays, I will basically go to the grocery store. I'll go clean my car, get ready, wash my clothes, do my laundry, all that good stuff to make sure that I'm ready and well rested for the week that comes up. So that's a big thing that I think you guys should really add to your list. Um, I've been getting into it a little more this past year and it's changed my life. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend that. I've always struggled with my relationship with food and my body. So in 2022, I vow to establish a better relationship with both of those things. Um, I want to be more active, which I already am, but I think we can all be a little more active and probably eat a little bit cleaner, which I will document all of this stuff and eventually make a YouTube video about it when I feel um, confident enough to do it. <laughs> but for now, that's my goal. I'm going to start small, maintain balance, and not overdo it like I did a while ago. I have a lot of stuff on this YouTube video about it. You should totally go check it out. But that is a big goal, to establish a better relationship with my food in my body. Putting more effort into my appearance. I feel like I I kind of tried today. I didn't really try with my hair. It it looks bad. But I did try with the outfit. Not really though. You can it's the top and then the pants. But my big goal is to put more effort into my appearance because I'm constantly wearing either shorts or sweatpants and I really need to stop that. So um yeah, just putting more effort into my appearance, clothing, hair, whatever, but that's a big goal. This kind of ties into reading, but stop scrolling on social media so much. I think there's really great options that Apple and like Instagram and all these little um, apps have to kind of put a restriction on your screen time. So I think I'm going to implement some of those and also I really just need to stop comparing myself on these apps so maybe do like a social media detox and not post on or not even open Instagram or TikTok really but I will be posting on here so you don't have to worry about that but that is a big thing just kind of distancing myself from social media's toxic type of you know so I know I am super guilty of being a super, super introverted person, and I genuinely love being alone. I love being at my house at night with my family, and this kind of tends to be a problem when I want to meet new people, but 
never feel like I have the opportunity because of my natural character. So my big goal for 2022 is to kind of meet new people and be more social and put myself out there a little bit more because naturally that's just like something that I really don't want to do. But coming up with college, I you know, won't be home with my family as much. So that's a really, really big thing for me. So I want to appreciate food more and kind of stop eating out every day. <laughs> it's a bad, it's a bad habit, but I do eat out a lot. Um, so I want to kind of eliminate some of the fast food restaurant stuff and replace it with cooking my own food. And I'm not a good cook. I failed culinary arts in seventh grade. So we'll see how this goes. And I will keep you guys updated on my little cooking journey. But that is definitely something that I want to do is get better at cooking. I want to do a little overhaul on my whole mental state. I know that I tend to get really anxious and I get into like a bad headspace pretty often. And one thing that I want to do is be more positive and be more open to people because I know that I tend to block people out and kind of deal with it myself. And that's really not a good habit. And if you do this too, you know what I'm going through, <laughs> you know how it is. Um, so I really need to stop that and kind of be more open to getting help and um, just being more positive in general to try and avoid some of those negative thoughts that I have a lot. <laughs> so those were my 10 New Year's resolutions ideas. I hope that you guys found them useful and can implement them into your own personal resolutions list. And make sure that you subscribe so that we don't miss out on my super, super fun um, videos that I have planned for you guys next year. Bye. Mention to subscribe because you totally should. Thank you.